Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I'm here to do the June 2024 tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm using the Ethereal Visions Tarot. If you'd like to purchase this deck, click the link in the description box down below. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers the highest good of all. The beginning of the month, I'm going to take the top card. Middle of the month, I'm going to take the card from the center. And the end of the month will be the bottom card. Okay, and let's see what we have here. We start out the month with the Seven of Wands. Okay, so you need to stand your ground in the beginning of the month, okay? This Seven of Wands is telling you that you're going to have to defend your position, okay? Your ideas or your beliefs might be challenged by someone. This could be a family member, friend, coworker, neighbor, Whoever it may be, you need to defend your position, okay? Um, you know, everybody meets with opposition at one point or another in their life, and it happens quite frequently, but just remain calm, okay? Have confidence in yourself and possess the courage to stand up for whatever it is you believe in in the beginning of the month. And I know my Scorpio friends do stand up for what they believe in, and I admire that in them. And then in the middle of the month, we have the Nine of Swords. So whoever, whatever this is, it's having you up in the middle of the night with these thoughts racing through your head. Okay, this is the 3 a.m. card where you wake up in the middle of the night and you just can't stop your mind from thinking about something that was negative or toxic. And before you know it, it snowballs into a full-blown thought attack and you're lying there in bed just wanting to shut off your brain and go back to sleep. I know because I've been there. I'm a Gemini and I wish there was a switch <laughs> to turn off the thoughts so I could get a good night's rest. But, you know, we've all been there. Um, whatever this is, it's not as bad as it seems. Like I said, if you could catch that one thought before it snowballs into a thought attack, you could save yourself a sleepless night. But like I said, easier said than done. And then at the end of the month, we have the Five of Pentacles. So we're feeling out in the cold, okay? The Five of Pentacles is not a card that, you know, anyone wants to see. But guess what? This is life. Life is made of things like this. If we didn't have these bad times, we wouldn't realize how good the good times are. So the Five of Pentacles is some type of a temporary hardship at the end of the month. It could just be you lacking money or resources um, at the end of the month. But, you know, pay ca careful attention, you know, to your finances to guard against any type of a loss at the end of the month, you know, or it could be, like I said, just a, a temporary hardship, you know, feeling, you know, out in the colds, uh, feeling left out. But you know what? This will pass. OK, this will pass. We all go through this. What an interesting month for you. I would suggest getting some sleep. It seems like it's going to take a lot of strength and stamina to uh, get through this month, but this will pass. Interesting message. If you've enjoyed the reading, please hit the like button to help the channel grow. I'd appreciate it with the algorithms. So this way, people who need to see these messages get to see them. If you'd like to purchase this deck, click the link in the description box. Drop a comment down below if this resonates with you. And above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.